Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm standing here in front of my garage and behind me you can see two of my favorite small cars. On the left side you can see the all-electric Renault Zoe. It's a 2015 model and on the right side it's a 1954 Renault 4CV. They are two spectacular cars both ahead of their times but unfortunately there's a big disadvantage for the poor Renault 4 CV it is polluting of course you might say the Renault Zoe is too especially when considering the mining and the manufacturing process of the battery but then again I can say that I have driven the electric Renault Zoe for about 100,000 kilometers now and I'm more than convinced of the electric technology the main advantage is the efficiency of the electric drivetrain. As showed in previous videos, I use only about 10% of the energy of a car with an internal combustion engine. And if you're driving a lot, that makes a huge difference. And as I'm living in a country with own hydroelectric power plants, on some days my driving energy is virtually 100% CO2 neutral and from an economic point of view I create added value in my local region which altogether makes even a bigger difference and sense. I wouldn't consider myself as a classic petrol head either although cars were always one of my greatest interests since I was a small boy I was always open for alternative systems. Back in 1999 I wrote a thesis about the possibilities and limitations to deploy electric cars as taxis in Swiss cities. And this was way before such cars were actually put in service many, many years later. And uh, more recently, I have led a, a project with the local authority here in Tuzi, Switzerland, to install the first fast charging station in my region, as you can see in the background. I would also say that I have many green spots in my heart. I love nature, I love adventures, and I love traveling and road tripping in great natural landscapes, as you can see here, and especially in previous videos. And I have to say that the idea of polluting the environment while having fun gets more and more disturbing to me, especially when there are technologies available to minimize these negative impacts. Imagine cruising down a French route nationale in this beautiful Renault 4 CV without any local emissions? Oh, or maybe you would prefer a little trip in the fresh snow while keeping the snow as wide as it came down from the sky? So considering all these facts, I made a big decision. I want to convert my Renault 4 CV to a fully electric drivetrain. So before the shock is now kicking in on you, let me clarify a few things. First of all, the conversion will be made in a reversible way. I will store away the old engine and other parts carefully should I ever feel the need to convert it back to its own, to its original state. Secondly, I will try to plan the conversion in a way that will keep the original driving dynamics as close as possible to the car as it drives now. This will, for example, require the gearbox to stay in in order to provide some typical noise and feedback and the motor with a similar power setup as the internal combustion engine. And thirdly, I will take you with me on the conversion journey, discuss some steps with you guys and hopefully also get some tips from you. But now let's start the discussion. I'm very curious to know how you feel about my project and if you're willing to come along on this journey. Interact with me, help and discuss I would be pleased to have you on board and share with you all the steps required to go from this engine here to an electric motor like this one here in the Renault Zoe. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you on here again soon. Bye!